Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. So a lot of you have asked me, how do you select skin colors or how do you come up with them? And honestly, nowadays I do it out of imagination. So I, I kind of have a feeling for colors just because I'm really experienced when it comes to painting skin. But for those of you who are new to painting skin or anything in general, I want to show you a real quick tip in Photoshop that you can use to select skin colors very quickly and easily. So this is a trick that I used to use as well. So when I started out painting digitally, I was like really lost and I had a real hard time selecting the right colors for my paintings. And so this trick is going to help you massively and it's going to make it super easy for you to select the correct colors. So what you see on the screen is Photoshop and I found a picture on Pinterest that I thought would be a perfect example for this demonstration. So once you selected your photo, your reference, what you want to do is you want to open it, you want to open it up in Photoshop and then you want to click on filter. And here you want to click on filter gallery right here. And so this opens up a new window. And here you have a bunch of different filters and effects and whatever. And so you want to click on artistic up here. And this will open up this um, pop up screen or whatever where you can select a bunch of different filters and you want to select cut out. And so once you've selected it, depending on the settings over here on the right, your image will look different. And so right now it's only like a few random shapes. And this is because this filter in a way simplifies your photo. And so it really depends on the settings that you select over here on the right. And so you need to play around with them for a little bit. And I'm just going to show you what I would do for example. And so you want to find a, a setting where your image is very simplified. It, it shouldn't contain any detail or what, whatever, but it should still show you the most important colors. And so right here is what I would say is um, a nice setting for this photo. And so I know it looks kind of creepy, but we really don't care at this point. So once you apply the filter, you can see that it separated all of the colors and this makes it super easy for us to kind of figure out the shading, the lighting, and also the, the individual colors because it can be really hard, especially for beginners to kind of even see the correct colors in a photo without having some kind of visual aid in place. So anyway, so once we have this, what we can do is we can create a new layer. So let's just create a new layer on top and select any brush that you want. And in this case, I'm going to use a round brush. And so what you want to do is you want to select the colors and kind of in a, in a hierarchy. So you want to go from light to dark. And so what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to pick the lightest color of his skin. And, and what I'm doing right now is I'm creating a, a color palette for her skin. And so I'm selecting the lightest color and I'm just dropping it on the canvas. And I'm selecting the next color in the value hierarchy. So this one is a little bit darker. So I'm selecting that. Then I'm selecting the midtone. Then the shadow part. And I believe this one is even darker. And so we also have this grayish color over here. And this right here. And so now basically what you've done is you created a skin palette in a matter of seconds, which is super cool. And you can even select the color of her lips right here. And this is the shadow. So this is how I would create a color palette for skin or for anything in general. So let's say we wanted to paint the sky in, in this image. I would just select this color and then the lighter color. And uh, I got a color palette for the sky and the same goes for her hair. I would select the darker color, the mid-tone, and perhaps if we find a lighter color right here. And so you can create color palettes for anything with this simple technique or filter. And so I would say try it out for yourself if you have Photoshop. Load up any image. You can pick, literally, you can pick anything. You can open up a landscape image, um, even a painting. So if, if you find a painting by an artist that you like, drop it into Photoshop 
And again, go to filter, filter gallery, cut out, and then apply the settings until you have a simplified version of your photo. And this will just make it so much easier for any beginner out there. And as I said, I had really big problems with colors in general, not even just skin color. I, I didn't know how colors worked and how they kind of work together and how to harmonize them. And so this really helped me out in the beginning. And as you saw, it's, it's really easy to set up and quick to do. It only takes like a few seconds to set it up and you should be fine to go. And the more you do this, the easier it'll become. And you actually start to get a feeling for colors by doing this. Sooner or later, you won't have to use any of these filters anymore because you will be so, so used to colors and so experienced that you just have a natural feeling for them and you know what works and what doesn't. Anyway, so here I just want to quickly show you how I would use this technique in a real life situation if I was painting an illustration. So let's say this is my drawing. What I would do first is I would select the background color and just apply it, apply it to the background. And now what we can do is, since we simplified our reference, we can just go in there and select the midtone of our skin, which is this color right here, and then just fill our sketch with this color. So completely fill out her skin. And I'm not being super careful here because I just want to move quickly. And so once we've done this, I'm just selecting this brown color here for the shading. And I can just go in here and roughly shade it in because not only does this filter show me which colors to use, it also shows me where to apply them. So I believe this is a great method for beginners to, to kind of start with coloring. And so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm just going back and forth. I'm going back to the simplified version. I'm selecting the color that I need. And then I'm just, then I just paint it in. And I'm being fairly loose here just to show you how easy this is. It doesn't really take a whole lot of effort. It, it's really simple. And you can do this in a matter of, of minutes. So here I'm just applying the lighting. There's some lighting right here and also up here on the forehead. Got some shading here. Give her lips some color. And also for her background, we should um, give the background a real simple shading here. And you can see how, how this enables me to real quickly figure out the coloring and to apply it to my, to my drawing. So as I said, go ahead, give this method a try, see if it works out for your workflow. And um, the more you do this, the, the easier it'll, it'll become. And sooner or later, I guess in a matter of days even, you will start to get a feeling for, for coloring and how, how they work together, how they harmonize, and which colors to combine and which not to combine. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, then leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, then smash that subscribe button. And as always guys, I love it all my fart and soul. Peace.